Okay, guys, so today we're over on Twitter. We're over on Nordax's page. If y'all don't know who Nordax is, he's the guy that actually does all the data mine links, or most all the data mine links for Naruto Ultimate Ninja Blazing. And today he leaked out all the new sync skills. Now, normally I wouldn't go over this. Normally I would let Hero, Mystic, Ego, all of them do all the um, leaks, the, or the new leaks anyway. And most of the time I would wait until the actual event comes out and I will cover it then. But I was actually already planning on covering this because the the idea of link skills with the characters for Ninja Clash was leaked a long time ago. We just actually never got the actual leaks for it. Like the actual individual skills that will be in the actual game mode. So since actually today I was planning on doing a video about it and the link skills were released, I thought I might as well do my video and actually have some proof to back it up. So real quickly, I'm going to go over every single one of these um, from start to finish and then go over some of the skill effects that some of these will have. Now, unfortunately, these I don't believe are actually linked up by the skill effects that are going to be shown earlier. I show what I, I will show you what I mean by that here in a minute. But let's go ahead and get through all the actual skill linkups that we have here. We have short range, mid range, long range, short and long, short and mid, mid and long, all except short, all except mid, all except long, heart, skill, body, bravery, heart wisdom heart skill body bravery and wisdom all except heart all except skill all except body all except bravery all except wisdom hidden leaf mist sound stone cloud rain waterfall taka and akoski so that's all the actual skills that we have leaked at this time now this is really interesting because they have some of the mono things that i thought they would have like the short range link ups all the heart link ups stuff like that but now they actually have the actual village links that I didn't expect. I did not expect this at all. And they also have group link ups. They have the Taka link up and the Koski link up. Now, I would really enjoy to see like a Team 7 or a team, like the actual different squads that they had in Naruto Shippuden and Naruto have those different types of squads actually as link skills and know they actually could. Just because these were leaked, we could probably get more links later on in the day to show more links. Because um, if you look at this, this has stops at 31. It goes from 1 to 31. Now, the first time I was recording this, because this is like the second or third time because I fucked up the other two times, we scroll up and we see he actually leaked some skill effects. And these skill effects, you know, you think they'll go in order, but these go all the way to 52. So, may I don't know if these are exactly in order. I don't know if this starts at 1 here. Like, this one says S... C skill underscore detail underscore one. I don't know if that's actually going with the first um, leak skill that w we had. Because if you go, we go back to it. The first one is actually, oh my god, come on. Short range. So, and some of these don't make sense. Because I do know with the sync skill 10, which is actually um, sync with heart um, units. Uh, with You go to the sync skill effects and you go to 10. This is why I think they're not actually the same. It's increased damage to bravery elements. Now, at least it, unless they're trying out something new, that doesn't really make sense to me. But it, it could always be like that. So I'm going to hit and read down through all the effects that some of these link skills have. Now, keep in mind, some of these are some of the percentages are missing here. That's why it says zero. So I won't actually mention the percentages because we do not know or they haven't been implemented into the game yet. And also, I do not know if they are in order. If you know they are in order, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll let, I'll put like a, I'll pin your, um, I'll pin your comments so everyone that looks at the comment section will know and also add it to this, the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into reading this. So the first one is boost attack by unknown damage. Reduces heart damage taken by blank percent. Reduces skill damage taken by blank percent. Reduce the body damage taken. Reduce bravery damage. Re reduce wisdom damage. Increase damage dealt to heart elements. Increase damage dealt to skill elements. Increase damage to body. Increase damage to bravery. Increase damage to wisdom. Now we're getting into the interesting ones. Those were the mono ones. Restore blank amount of health every turn. Lowers the rate of getting jutsu sealed. Okay, lowers the rate of being immobilized by blank percent, lowers the rate of getting switch sealed by blank percent, lowers the rate of getting health recovery sealed by blank percent, lowers the rate of getting chakra recovery sealed by blank percent, and lowers the rate of getting attack weakened by blank percent. Blank percent chance of dodging a physical attack, not slip damage, changes normal attack range to something, boosts rate of status effects by something, recovers health in the portion to damage caused. Lowers the rate of being inflicted by a status element of blank percent. Lowers the rate of receiving substitution counters. And nullifies invincibility status and causes damage. 
So you real quick, I want to mention these last ones. They're starting to get really interesting because they allow you to pretty much recover health in portion to damage caused. If you have that link skill activated and someone punches you, it sounds like you're going to get all that health back. So that's really crazy. And then it has nullifies nullifies the invincibility status and causes damage so this is pretty much saying like perfect dodges um barriers stuff like that they're going to be able to, they're not going to do anything boost critical rate by blank percentage um reduce damage taken by blank percentage increase damage by some restores blank bars of chakras during combination health recovery based on damage combinations attacks are unaffected by elemental affinities boost attack by blank times during com combinations boost critical rate by blank times okay combinations has a percentage chance to weaken the cause of slip damage combinations have a percentage chance to weaken attack combinations have a chance to cause slip damage combinations has a chance to immobilize for one turn combinations have a chance of sealing um, jutsus for one turns combinations have a chance to seal um, switching for one turns and combinations have a chance to seal chakra recovery for one turn combinations have a percent chance to seal health recovery so that's really good especially if the other people are trying to stall or heal on you that's gonna be really good I'm gonna enjoy that one removes jutsu seal removes immobilization switch seal health recovery seal attack recovery seal Attack weakening restores zero bars of chakra each time it is your turn in battle. Removes all status effects. Puts up a sink barrier that protects you from one damage worth of attacks for blank turns. That's going to be good. Gives you one per perfect dodge for z a blank number of turns. Okay, so these skills look really amazing and they're going to be changing the game of a lot. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, there are 31 skill leaks that we have gotten and 52 skill details that we have gotten as well. So I don't know if multiple of these skill details actually link up with those 31 skills or, or if there are more skills that we haven't gotten yet that hasn't been data mine leaked. That's going to be really interesting to see. Guys, if y'all know anything about that, let me comment down below. Because these skills, they're looking really dope. There's a couple of them that really piqued my interest. And I was just sitting here, I was like, really? Wow. Especially the ones like, um, the amount of damage you do, you gain health back. Or the amount of damage caused to you, you get health back. Those are going to be really clutch and key. And I want to mention this really quickly. I mentioned it at the beginning of the video as well, I believe. These link skills, I don't believe they're going to be actually throughout the entire game mode. This, I believe they might just be just straight ninja clash only. Now, they could actually get throughout the entire game, and that's going to be really game-changing because most of the raids nowadays are pretty easy to begin with. So, having all these alongside of your actual regular field effects and buddy effects, it's going to be pretty OP. Now, having them Ninja Clash, according to how Ninja Clash will work, this is going to be really interesting because team building was never really a big thing for anybody. It was mainly just, you know, run one tail, run someone that can dodge. Oh, we got a video from SPZ, go check that out. There wasn't really too much to the raids though. You pretty much just stalled, use one tail, use um, CM2 Sasuke, use Drez, immobilize seal, all the other stuff. You know how it works. But now with all these different types of link seals, it looks like that's not going to be a thing in the new PvP game mode because just like Phantom Castle, you don't run one tail really. No one really runs one tail. You run low chakra across units that can pretty much nuke multiple units at one time, well, like AoE units. Now with the new PvP game mode, like again, I don't we don't know exactly how it's going to work. We did get some more leaks on that and everyone else already covered that, so I'm not going to mention it in this video. Go check out one of their videos. They're not linked down below, but you can easily find them. So according to how they're going to implement these into the actual game, if they're going to be a full game release to where you can actually use them in emergency missions and impacts, or if they're just going to release them in Ninja Clash and it's going to be strictly Ninja Clash or the new PvP game mode, it's going to be really game changing either way because now it's actually going to challenge people to actually build decent teams because it most likely just having like all short range units on a team, you're not going to get the best link up skills. You're not, you're going to get the average just, oh, boost damage by this or it caused immobilization with this or something like that you're not going to get the cool ones like i was talking about like restoring your health by damage calls or some, nothing like that most likely you'll go get those by um getting like the hidden leaf village or something like those types of links those links i'm really curious to see how they're going to work because like i said i don't know if these actually link up like the um effect details link up with actual skills and one skill if, um link up has multiple effects to it i don't know about that so unfortunately i can't like inform you about that at all 
But anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Let me know what you think down below about these actual skill link-ups because they're really interesting to me. And always make sure you go over to Twitter and drop Nordax a follow because he is a really awesome dude for linking all these for us. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, like I said, drop a like. Let me comment down below what you think about these skill link-ups. Anyway, guys, I'll see you the fuck later. Peace.